In today's video, we are going to be painting some watercolor wildflowers, and I'll be experimenting with these watercolor brush pens from Genuine Crafts. Hey guys, welcome back. My name is Shada Campbell, and our video today is sponsored by Genuine Crafts. Now, they were nice enough to send me these brush pens. The pens themselves come in sets of 20, 50, or 100 watercolor pens, and I'll be using the set of 100, and I'll be giving away the set of 50 and the set of 20. So make sure you watch till the end of the video for some giveaway details. Um, but yeah, there's tons of colors, so I'm gonna have a little fun playing around with these. This product is completely new to me. The way they work is you lay down your image, your florals or what have you on the page on watercolor paper, and then you use clean water and a paintbrush or a water brush to render the colors. You can manipulate them and they turn to beautiful watercolors on the page. So they're a lot like watercolor pencils. Um, the pens themselves are really nice. They're non-toxic, great range of colors. And the uh, tip is a, a nylon. So if you are like me and you don't use a lot of animal hair brushes, you use a lot of synthetic nylon paint brushes, um, this brush is really nice and you can see I can get a beautiful amount of detail and it works just like all my other regular paint brushes where I can get that fine detail with the tip or I can use the belly of the brush to lay down washes of color um, and then you can see me using a wet paint brush here to render that color and it turns to these beautiful watery paints right on the page so we're gonna have a little bit of fun and experiment because I actually really like the look of the brush pen before they even get wet. So I'm gonna play around with that. You can add more color into your wet area and allow that to seep out or you can work with it more. So I think you can see there's a lot of options here for blending and just for playing and experimenting. And as artists, I mean, that's the best thing that we can do is have a little fun and get creative. So that's what we're gonna to do today. Whenever I'm trying a new product, I like to do a subject matter that I'm comfortable with. So I'll be doing some beautiful Canadian wildflowers. Now you can paint along with me. I've got uh, two pencil lines laid out here on my page, so starting very simple. And then what I'm trying here is I'm experimenting with the brush pen. Uh, I want to create a very detailed, delicate leaf or branch design here. So you can see me using the very point, the very tip of the brush to pull towards my body and create these very thin, soft, delicate lines. And then I use the belly of the brush and I drag it across the page and that gives me that thicker leaf area. So you can see I do thin and then thicker. And I'm able to use the tip of the brush as well to bring those leaves to a little point, to a nice delicate point at the end. So you're using the tip of the brush for all your tiny soft lines. And then you're using the belly of the brush and dragging it across the page um, to get those beautiful leaves. So these brushes, as I said, I find that they work wonderfully. They're very similar to the paint brushes, to the nylon round brushes that I use in my um, everyday watercolor painting. So I've felt quite comfortable with them right off the bat. Now I thought I'll try some larger leaves. So I'm creating these ones by doing a lot of lines and I haven't filled them in in their entirety because I figure a little negative space will probably look nice when I render the paints out. And uh, as I said in the intro, I actually really like the look of the um, pen just on the page before you even add the water. It looks really nice and as you drag that brush tip across the page, the color releases in a really natural way and you get areas that are lighter and darker just the way you would if you were painting with a paintbrush. Now I'm doing some little asters here. I, uh, they're sort of like tiny little periwinkle colored daisies. So I'm just using some vertical brush strokes to give the look of those thin long petals. And they sort of are a periwinkle color. So I'll blend a little purple here. And once I add the water, I think that'll look really nice. 
And then I also wanna do some little buttercups. So I am doing the petals and I always do four or five petals really, really loose. Um, I don't want them to look too stiff. I want them to look like they're in motion almost, like they're blowing in the wind. So we're just doing these very, very loose petals. I'm kind of trying to decide where do I need a flower? Maybe here, maybe there. Some are on a bit of an angle, some are a little smaller. Then I'll take my pencil and I'll connect them. I wanna <laughs> plan that in pencil first. And then I'm using a brown, uh, chocolate brown brush pen to join those together and I'll add some leaves as well. Following the same formula for these leaves, I'm using the body of the brush and dragging it across the page and I'm creating the leaves in two strokes and that allows me to have that nice line of negative space down the center of the leaves and again when I render these out with water that's going to be a really nice detail. Okay, so let's hit these with a bit of water, shall we? I'm using uh, a paintbrush and clean water, but you could also use um, a water brush. And some of the sets, uh, the Genuine Craft Pens on Amazon, I believe they do come with a water brush, so that's a nice feature. You can see the color renders really nicely. I'm able to move it around. So once I hit the colored area with the water, then it becomes paint sort of magically. And I'm able to move that paint around. If I wanna pick up some of the pigment, I can move it to another area. So like you can see me doing that there, I've moved some of that pigment to another leaf. And then I can come back in with the brush pen and I can add um, more pigment, more color, and it seeps out really nicely. So I like doing that. Um, and not only can I add more color when it's wet, I can do it when it's dry too. So we'll come back to that in a little bit. And you can see me blending out my asters, trying to get that periwinkle color. I, I mean, I really like brush pens and watercolor pencils for anybody who wants the control of a marker or a pencil and sort of feels like watercolors can be a little too, like they can get away from you, they're too free, the medium is too difficult. That's why I love using uh, pens and, and watercolor pencils because you get all the control. So even just the way you hold a marker in your hand is different than a paintbrush. And so you're able to get these nice, really thin lines and what I'm doing here with this very delicate branch that I started with is I'm going to render some of the leaves but some of the areas especially towards the top I'm going to leave them I'm not going to add any water so I'm going to keep the detail and then it's going to kind of get less and less detailed uh, down here towards the bottom of the page so that's sort of a fun design choice and I'm adding tons of water to my buttercups and I'm just sort of blurring them. I'm abstracting them a little bit. I like the way the brown uh, bit that I put in the center of each flower has blended into the rest of the yellow. It gives me a nice rich color. I'm pulling out the color of those leaves and adding a bit more of a point to them. So my painting starts with the precision of this brush pen, but I also get a lot out of using the water and the paintbrush. Now we're gonna let that dry completely, it took about half an hour, and then I'm coming back in, as I said, with the brush pens again, and now I can add detail, so that's a really nice element. If you are still struggling with your brush work when it comes to watercolor painting and you struggle with the tiny brush, these markers are great. <laughs> I really enjoyed adding those fine details at the end, and I think it looks like watercolor paint, so I'm super happy with the way that this turned out. It would look nice with a little quote beside it, and I did this other wreath um, as a practice piece before I filmed and so I'm going to put a quote in the middle of that one. I love the color palette that I chose for this wreath. It's very, oh, it just reminds me of a fairy tale story or something. So I was very happy with the color selection. And this is my honest review. I mean, I don't really share products on the channel that I'm not happy with, so I tend to share ones that I love, um, and this is one of them. Now, if you would like to win the pack of 20 or 50 brush pens, we're giving away both thanks to me and Genuine Crafts. All you have to do to enter is make sure you're subscribed to this channel and then leave a comment below telling me what is your favorite summer wildflower. I need more ideas for what to paint next. All right, thank you so much for watching, guys. Don't forget to subscribe, and I will see you soon with a new tutorial.